Good evening. Many of you were taught in uh, the school that the world is uh, flat, with uh, the icebergs on the edge of the world, and that it uh, goes up, and that the uh, gravity goes up. But I'm here to tell you today that that is uh, not the case. Most people do not uh, do not uh, realize that the world is actually uh, a cone shaped. The globe is cone shaped. Da. The Earth is cone shaped. See, mo let me explain uh, what uh, what uh, I'm uh, talking about. Uh, let us start with the, the uh, flat earth theory. Most people are correct that the world is flat. About the 95% of uh, the world's uh, surface is on uh, the flat part of the cone. Eh? Most, uh, most actually, almost uh, entirely of uh, the world is, uh, is uh, on the flat part, with one notable exception. The state of Texas in a little bit of uh, the uh, Gulf of Mexico is actually at, at a wrap around the uh, the point of the cone, and the the reason that that is the case is because of a, a, a hyper hyper quantum stretching around the edges to keep the gravity down, so you can go from Texas to the other part of the world without any interference from the hyper quantum uh, stretching, and the gravity stays the same. Now, right here, this is the point. There, see, this is Cape Canaveral. See, this is the farthest point out in uh, in uh, the space. See? And that is why we launch our rockets from Cape Canaveral, because that way you save on gas and fuel costs, and you can get them close. So as the Earth tumbles through the space, when the mathematicians and the astronomers line it up, they can get it as close to the planet as they want it to be, and then they shoot off, because it is close to the Moon, or to Mars, or to Alpha Centauri, as they can get it. Now, it is uh, this hyperbaric stretching that is actually the reason that uh, everything is bigger in Texas.